How's it going? It's Raf from BNC Camera. The post-pandemic world has made people eager to start their businesses and be their own bosses, especially people who previously only took photographs as a hobby. Now is the perfect time to take hold of your life and start your own photography business, even if you don't have any business experience. How is it exactly do you start a photography business with no experience? Here are some of the main bullet points. Have a passion for photography. Develop your niche and business plan. Invest in reliable equipment. Practice always makes better. Build a portfolio. Create a pricing guide. And of course, promote yourself. Now experience goes a long way, but you don't always need it. As long as you devise a solid plan of action, you can give your idea some legs and start running. Have a passion for photography. You may like photography, but you need to love it. Have a passion. Passionate work is what will get you far. If you don't genuinely enjoy photography, the work can become mundane when building a business. Clients will always be able to tell when you love what you do. The ones backed by passion are typically going to be the best photographers. You also want to have a basic understanding of light, composition, and camera settings. Develop your niche and business plan. Before you do anything, you need to know what your niche will be. What will be your main focus? There are so many different options, and it's good to specialize in one or a few that are similar. Here are a few examples of different photography niches. Lifestyle, such as portraits, newborn, maternity, and boudoir. Events, concerts, weddings, corporate events, reunions, etc. Product, things such as fashion, jewelry, food, and real estate. Now you need to write up a business plan. Your business plan should describe your company, goals, and services you'll be providing. Think of a marketing plan and make financial projections. Invest in reliable equipment. It doesn't have to be top of the line, but your camera should be reliable. Investing in your passion is the way to go. Besides a camera, you should also invest in a few more basic things. Depending on the style of photography, it isn't gonna hurt to invest in a few different lenses. Having a sturdy and reliable tripod wouldn't hurt as well too. Also consider lighting. You can invest in a few basic light kits to help when you're shooting indoors. Now practice does make better. Building a portfolio will be one of the best ways to gain your business's clientele. Take pictures of friends and family as frequently as possible. This will also help you work out your creative process and composition kinks. See what works and what doesn't. While you're practicing, you're also building up your portfolio. If product photography is gonna be your niche, you can offer to take photos of products for friends that sell items. You can offer to take photos for free or at a much lower cost than you typically would. You could also take pictures of random new products around your house to show off your skills. Product photography can be easier to do than lifestyle. Just remember, this is the time for you to develop your skills. Build a portfolio. Once you have taken enough pictures, you can start building your portfolio. This is necessary when you show a future client what you can do. You can create a portfolio using a site builder like Squarespace, Wix, etc. It's rare to see physical portfolios these days, but of course it doesn't hurt to have one as well too. Create a pricing guide. Benchmark how other photography businesses with a similar niche are pricing their services. Since you're new, you can price match or go slightly lower than your competitors. Just don't undersell yourself. Promote yourself. A great way to market yourself is by building your social media presence. Using Facebook, Instagram, and especially TikTok will help you build a following for your business. Social media is one of the best ways to attract people to want to invest in your services. Once you feel comfortable with your portfolio and gear, you can start taking more steps to become that much more official and legitimate. Hopefully this little guide will help you in building your foundation to your eventual photography and or videography career. If you found the video insightful, again, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Raf from BNC Camera, and I'll catch you on the next one.